Now at 6, the Target 12 investigators with the details behind an alleged $100,000 embezzlement case involving the Narragansett Indians. Restaurants, groceries, limo rides, and airfare are all in the mix, according to a document we obtained. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau with the details you'll see only on Eyewitness News. The name of the tribe member who allegedly misused tribe credit cards is redacted from the document, but what he is accused of spending the money on is all there. Computers and documents were seized by federal investigators in December of 2016 after a group of tribe members held a sit-in at the tribe's Charlestown headquarters. But it is unknown if those items played a role in this investigation report obtained by Target 12 through a Freedom of Information Act request. The investigation covers a six-year period starting in late 2009. During that time, the unnamed tribe official spent more than $21,000 for meals at restaurants, more than $17,000 to buy merchandise at a number of stores, just under $11,000 on vehicle fuel. And according to the document, more than $9,000 was spent on airfare, including a November 2011 trip to Fort Myers, Florida, with the individual's girlfriend. The Rhode Island U.S. Attorney's Office will not comment on why that agency decided not to prosecute the tribe member who, according to the document, declined to be interviewed for the investigation. An unnamed tribal administrator acknowledged to investigators that tribal government charge cards were not handled correctly. The Narragansetts have an estimated 3,000 members and receive about $7.5 million a year in federal funding and another $750,000 from Rhode Island through a cut of video lottery terminal revenue. The document indicates the investigation was given to the acting director of the Bureau of Indian Affairs for any action deemed appropriate. Recently elected Narragansett Chief Sachem Dean Stanton has not returned a request for comment. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.